if you get in an old woman's way, she will get mad. Welcome to another edition of Changeling Tales. So in today's video we will be looking at a very, very short story called The Old Woman and Her Pig. It is a British story from... who knows when. It's been around for a very, very long time as a folk tale. So the thing I want to point out about this story in particular is its form. So in previous videos, The Blue Bird and The Bronze Ring, we looked at long form fairy tales or folk tales that used to be popular early 1900s and back and have kind of faded from popularity but the short form folk tale or fairy tale has also been around for ever and it's a form that stayed many of the folk tales and fairy tales that we know today that are meant for children are short form and very repetitive it's kind of the uh, rhyminess repetitiveness non-complicated plot that seems to appeal to a child audience today or at least to publishers who are publishing for a child audience so the old woman and her pig is actually a perfect example of what's called a chain narrative or a cumulative tale and this type of story is once again very short it basically has no plot the entire thing its entire gist is just kind of building up on top of itself in a rather comedic way. So a character faces just challenge after challenge after challenge and they're not making much headway. And it's meant to be comedic, entertaining, um, and I don't think that it necessarily is supposed to have a moral of any kind. I haven't been able to figure any moral from this story. Uh, Maybe just like stay out of old women's way or else they'll uh, use every means they can possibly find to bend you to their will. <laughs> I know old women like that. <laughs> Very strong women. Now I'd imagine that this style of story has carried on so well as it has because any sort of repetition becomes easy to remember. So as people would be passing down this oral tradition of storytelling from one generation to the next, from one person to another, it would be easy to remember the story because it was so repetitive. So uh, I think that's really all I have to say about it. This is going to be a very, very short video. And uh, without any further ado, on to the story. The Old Woman and Her Pig An old woman was sweeping her house, and she found a little crooked sixpence. What? said she. Shall I do with this little sixpence? I will go to market, and buy a little pig. As she was coming home, she came to a stile, but the piggy wouldn't go over the stile. She went a little farther, and she met a dog, so she said to him, Dog, dog, bite pig! Piggy won't go over the stile, and I shan't get home tonight. But the dog wouldn't. She went a little farther and she met a stick. So she said, Stick, stick, beat dog. Dog won't bite pig. Piggy won't get over the stile and I shan't get home tonight. But the stick wouldn't. She went a little farther and she met a fire. So she said, Fire, fire, burn stick. Stick won't beat dog. Dog won't bite pig. Piggy won't get over the stile and I shan't get home tonight. But the fire wouldn't. So she went a little farther and she met some water. So she said, 
Water, water, quench fire. Fire won't burn stick, stick won't beat. Dog, dog won't bite. Pig, piggy won't get over the stile, and I shan't get home tonight. But the water wouldn't. She went a little farther, and she met an ox. So she said, Ox, ox, drink water. Water won't quench fire. Fire won't burn stick. Stick won't beat. Dog, dog won't bite. Pig, piggy won't get over the stile, and I shan't get home tonight. But the ox wouldn't. She went a little farther, and she met a butcher. So she said, Butcher, butcher, kill ox. Ox won't drink water. Water won't quench fire. Fire won't burn stick. Stick won't beat. Dog, dog won't bite. Pig, piggy won't get over the stile, and I shan't get home tonight. But the butcher wouldn't. She went a little farther, and she met a rope. So she said, Rope, rope, hang butcher. Butcher won't kill ox. Ox won't drink water. Water won't quench fire. Fire won't burn stick. Stick won't beat. Dog, dog won't bite. Pig, piggy won't get over the stile, and I shan't get home tonight. But the rope wouldn't. She went a little farther, and she met a rat. So she said, Rat, rat, no rope. Rope won't hang butcher. Butcher won't kill ox. Ox won't drink water. Water won't quench fire. Fire won't burn stick. Stick won't beat dog. Dog won't bite pig. Piggy won't get over the stile, and I shan't get home tonight. But the rat wouldn't. She went a little farther, and she met a cat. So she said, Cat, cat, kill rat. Rat won't gnaw rope. Rope won't hang butcher. Butcher won't kill ox. Ox won't drink water. Water won't quench fire. Fire won't burn stick. Stick won't beat dog. Dog won't bite pig. Piggy won't get over the stile, and I shan't get home tonight. But the cat said to her, If you will go to yonder cow and fetch me a saucer of milk, I will kill the rat. So away went the old woman to the cow. But the cow said to her, If you will go to yonder haystack and fetch me a handful of hay, I will give you the milk. So away went the old woman to the haystack, and she brought the hay to the cow. As soon as the cow had eaten the hay, she gave the old woman the milk, and away she went with it in a saucer to the cat. As soon as the cat had lapped up the milk, the cat began to kill the rat, the rat began to gnaw the rope, the rope began to hang the butcher, the butcher began to kill the ox, the ox began to drink the water, the water began to quench the fire, the fire began to burn the stick, the stick began to beat the dog, the dog began to bite the pig, the little pig in a fright jumped over the stile, and so the old woman got home that night. <laughs>